Hello everybody and welcome back with me, Mikey Snail, to episode 2 in the Survival on Gold Crest Valley 22. A um, few changes since last episode. See, uh, as I said, I wanted to get the field seeded, which I have done one field, and then what I decided to do was I needed some more money, so I sold the Massey Ferguson, and I have now bought a trailer and a bigger seeder, otherwise, we will be there forever. Um, bees are still making lots of honey, which is ideal. So, aim for today is to get the other field seeded and potentially carry out some possible contracts to make some money. Now we've got field one there cultivating um, 13 and field. 28 and they're all worth a fair amount in you know extra money so I think ideally what would be good would be to get those carried out I mean there's fertilizing as well on field 5 which I think is the biggest field on the map actually um, if we have a look yeah so there's field 5 Ooh. so it is the biggest field on the map I imagine that's going to take a, a fair chunk of fertilizer to to do but fertilizing contracts are pretty quick I think that is the one upside um, I haven't as of yet got rid of the weeds so I do have weeds growing on field 14 and 15 um, but when you see it kind of gets rid of them to a certain degree but obviously they are going to come back so yeah we will have to deal with that at some point but I need some money so cultivating field one. Oh, oh, which one's field one right at the top there yeah, that shouldn't be too bad so I think yeah let's get some contracts done so we have field one as I say and then there was field 28 which is going to cost me I am going to borrow the items for field one and then I'm going to be cheeky and I'm going to accept the contract on field 8 but what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the equipment from uh, the borrowed items to obviously uh, get cracking and get that done I need to get the stuff off the back of here as well can I reach that with the loader? can I? can I? let's have a look um, yeah, so I need to obviously get these cleared and put to work. And I can't without lowering the back of the trailer, damn it. Oh well. So, yeah, so that's the, the aim of the game today is to get the seed planted um, and get some more money coming in for the farm. Go right, so let's get this lot off the back and say ideally I want to get some production lines going and I want to the, the area behind the two storage sheds just in front of us there I think is going to be ideal if I can get it cleared of the trees then I can then perhaps put a production line of some form there which I think would be ideal to get us started so let's 
grab the uh, 4755 here. I have got some more seed there that I emptied out from the old cedar. And I need to take this weight off. So we'll, uh, we'll pop it there because I know what happens with me and weight. <laughs> I invariably put them down somewhere and then can't find them again. So yeah that's um that's typical me okie doke now well steady now luckily only at the bag of seed there um the cedar is full and i need to i can't tell now because i can't see Make sure I've got the right seed. Yep, so I've got wheat selected. But uh, the original seed was only three meters working width. This is six. 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 So, um, yeah, hopefully we'll get the um, seed time, as you say. See, there's still weeds in places there. I've driven over them a lot. Um, yeah, so hopefully, so this will half the time pretty much that it will take to see this particular field. So I'm going to set a worker off on that and pick up this beauty. Oh, all right. The T9.480 New Holland. New Holland, one of, in fact, I don't know, possibly my favourite uh, manufacturer of tractors. Um, I don't know what yours is. Be be good to know. Feel free to um, pop it in the comments there. What your uh, your favourite uh, manufacturer is? I love New Holland. Um, there are a lot of New Holland's around where I live um, that and we get a lot of um, fent and class particular but particularly in like the harvesters and stuff like that the class forage harvesters and, and whatnot and they are mean looking machinery they um, and they're loud really really loud um, but very cool but yes definitely say New Holland I think they call it the people's tractor actually is definitely one of my um, favorites if not my favorite when it comes to the machines but yes to get in the comments here guys if there's something you know particular brand that you like what's your favorite drop it in the comments let us know I like the contracts. I don't know about you guys, but I like doing them. You get to use different equipment and whatnot. It's usually like it's usually been worked to death. This one's done 57.4 hours, um, but it, it's cool. Yeah, you get to use different equipment and explore the the area a bit more, which is always nice. But as I say, you know, today is about making some money back on the farm because I've only got 50,000 which is yeah it sounds like a lot but it's not we're broke and as I've said before guys if there is something in particular that you want to see happen or you know want to see you know done in this series then by all means feel free to um drop it in the comments there and uh, yeah you know so do you think I should plant say certain crops do you think we should have a certain production line whatever you know feel f feel free to um, put it in the comments cool didn't realize 
surprised that this uh, cultivator opened up as much as it did. Near enough. Yeah, so what I am going to do is I'm going to uh, plow on here <laughs> and uh, get this done. I'm hoping it's not going to take too long. Um, we'll see. But I will, as always, I will say, I will plod on doing this. I don't mind going up and down like this and just doing it. It's 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 quite therapeutic it's quite relaxing so I will see you on the other side of the field guys right so here we are just finishing up the contract on field 28 field 1 is done the contract is actually completed on this field here but I don't like leaving it with sort of a strip not done and then just completing the contract prefer to sort of finish it right off not everyone does you can just leave it um, and obviously complete on it and that's it you know it will finish it um, the whole field will be done by the time you click obviously collect on the contract but I like to finish it up so that it's all uh, nice and neat and tidy the other fields are nearly seeded um, I do need a more powerful tractor really for for, for my farmyard so there we go, all complete contracts, there we go I can complete on that one complete on that one and there we go, more money that's it, some more money in the bank okay so I managed to scat my uh, honey pallets earlier on but they need collecting anyway because obviously I want to get them loaded up put on the trailer here so I think what I'm going to do is once this one's full I will clear them and get them stacked out of the way so that everything's more neat and tidy obviously you've got the tractor over there working it's working very slowly though it's just not high enough horsepower um, I don't know what we would anything, anything for on in the sails let's just have a quick look no, it's a nice trailer there though that's nice um, maybe maybe what's what's our trailer worth let's have a look uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. it's worth 10 and how much is that other one oh, wrong way you know what I think I am going to because I don't like this trailer anyway it's terrible yeah I'm going to sell that one and I'm going to buy This little beauty, because it's a very nice one. Um, yeah, let's let's put a number plate on it. Yeah, go on. Go. So back only. Okay. Yeah we'll buy that um, tractors though that's what I wanted to have a look at I'm thinking of keeping the 7, 8, 10 there and selling that one there and yeah I'm going to sell that one and the harvester, I don't need it um, right now. 
Okay. So there we are. That gives us a much better budget. So what I'm going to do is... Large tractors are going to be far too expensive. But a decent medium sized tractor. One that I can increase some horsepower on. Um, so that's already, that's something to say. The class is already 205. Ouch. That would leave me with next to no money. Go that way. That. Yeah, let's um let's go with that. I know it's a lot of money to put out, but the, tra the other tractor there is really struggling to pull the cedar, which ultimately, because he's still working there, it's costing me money. Oh my word, what's going on with me today? I can't drive save my life. I've scattered me pallets of honey everywhere. I can't pick up a blooming jail. What's going on? Right, so there we go. Now that is much better. So what I am going to do, I'm just going to cut back to... Obviously, no I'm not, I don't need to, because he's already gone, I've sold it. Um, yeah, so we'll uh, whiz down with this, get the seeding finished up, and then I also need to roll the fields as well. Now obviously the contracts are complete, kind of roundabout way <laughs> possibly going a bit backwards as we don't have a harvester now but I think probably to be honest with you because I've only got so few fields it would literally be just as cost effective for me to lease um, a harvester for a day and get the fields sort of harvested um, I'm not planning on any harvesting contracts. If I do, then what I'll obviously do is I'll use their equipment just because it's cheaper, it makes more sense. Um, but yeah, I think there's probably the way forward for now because I do, I need, I need a more powerful tractor, it's that simple. Um, I've kept the John Deere because obviously it has the front loader on, so I can use that for loading all my pallets onto my trailer which is ideal and uh, this little beauty here will be ideal for working um, working the fields and doing everything that we need that little bit more a uh, few more horses for so ideal so yeah let's get cracking let's go get this field finished seeding as I say, and then it will need rolling. Um, might lead that to leave that to the next episode. Yep. There is the chaos that I created earlier with the <laughs> pallets of honey there. I just don't think about it, just drove straight into them. But um whoops, hey oh. Now I've got to do is work out how I'm gonna pick this up. Kind of squeeze in there, should be able to. Yeah, look at that. There's these Venturuses, like a glove. Right, so. That's better, because it was crawling along it next to nothing. Now, what I was saying on the last episode, the soil type, so obviously in the top field here, we've got loam and um, sandy loam. So you look at the seed rate, it's low. So you're using next to nothing. I mean, I've, I've seeded all three fields with a bag of seed at most. So that's pretty good. But 
we are building up a seed rate map so obviously red is high yellow standard so unfortunately on 15 it's high um, it's kind of almost a 50 50 split between those there but uh, luckily on field 12 I think the majority of it is is low with some in the standard there so as you can see I'm using almost no seed at all whilst planting here which is which is ideal now obviously as it moves from the loam into the, the sandy loam you will actually see the seed rate change so it'll go from uh, I think it will it should do should go from low into medium I think I could be wrong yeah there we go it's changed yeah it's gone into it's gone up to medium so I'm using slightly more seed but still very very little I'm gonna have a lot of seed left over I think by the time we're finished here so ideal so you can keep cracking there I'm going to remove the John Deere from the trees <laughs> swing around here <laughs> right, so we've got the loader on there. What I want to do, if I can, I don't know if it will let me or not. Come on, behave. I want to. That's not going to let me. Oh my word, I really cannot drive today. And clear these pallets here out of the way. Yay! Right. So yeah, they need to be cleared up. So we've now got what? One, two, three, four, five, six, six full pallets of honey, which is ideal. Seeding over here is pretty much complete. Contracts we have done for today as well so yeah I'm quite happy with that um, I'll let this guy finish up here get the seeding done um, and then of course we are going to need a roller which I will lease I think because of cost yeah it's 41,000 just for that but the cost of leasing it for the day is £2,091 which I think is very reasonable so yeah I think that is next stage so next stage really is to potentially do some more contracts roll the fields we're going to need to deal with the weeds but i think easiest way to do that is going to be to spray them because we've got good nitrogen pH values and they all have weed on so i think probably the easiest yeah definitely the easiest thing to do is to hire 
or lease a sprayer when the time comes get the weeds dealt with but as I say and the price of the honey at the moment currently is Two thousand eight hundred and seventy-six, but it was say it will go up to over three thousand come March. So, so I think they're going to keep going, and I'll keep them racking up until March. Um, silage at the moment is saying obviously we still have none. Um, that's because the silo is still still fermenting, but again, sort of Jan Feb that's going to be worth a lot more so I'm going to then get that sold and luckily we have that big bigger trailer there so that is ideal we can get that sorted and put into there get that sold so I'll have a look and see where we're Need to carry out any repairs or not. Repair cost 49. Now you see I found that with the repairs, if you carry them out far more regularly, it's going to cost you a lot lot less to um carry out repairs in general. And so we've got our shiny trailer here. So yep, so next step is finish the seeding, get the fields rolled, start getting the honey all stacked up, and I think possibly as well potentially looking at some of the contracts here. There is a harvesting contract for harvesting sorghum. I so that's on field thirty-two yeah I think probably what I will do is I will take that contract on um, borrow the items it's not just um, for the money I'm not going to make very much money off of it but there's potentially a chance that I will make um, some seed or some you know some sorghum from left over from when you finish the contract so yeah there's a few things in the pipeline i think um i think what i'll do is i will sort of far better plan out the the next episode and we should be rocking and rolling get these fields set start making some more money back in and then potentially look at a production line i was considering getting some sheep i believe there is already a place on here no there isn't yet um, but you say get 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 the sheep pen oh there, there is there is there is it's over here um, potentially getting some sheep because then the sheep produce the wool which can go to the um, spinnery and then I was thinking along the lines of Uh, productions where are we no sorry they've got the um, have they really got the spinnery on here oh, I get I get a bit confused um, dairy green mill spinnery In fact, saying that, no, I believe they've already got the spinner on here. But um, either way, if I have to buy it or if not, I mean, for obviously for the more basic one. Sixty thousand. So even if I need to set one up myself, um, we can use the wall. We can start producing clothing or material because that sells for a lot of money and that would be a huge increase and a huge income increase um, once we have enough wool to um, to obviously help build up the income for the farm somewhere 
here bakery dairy I am pretty sure ah there is there was already a spinnery so that's fine yeah so again the next episode I think get in some sheep um, which means we will need some hay for them but there's grass everywhere around these fields so that won't be a problem to to do so yeah I think that's where we're going to go next time hopefully get past the rain as well so until next episode guys thank you very much for watching um, it's not been the most exciting episode and it will get better as we plow on through the game and get a larger income but as always guys please feel free to like comment and subscribe and until next time thank you very much for watching take care guys